dominance here as champion. Oh, and it's so over. Hey folks, it's Dan Slavod, and I'm here again with another uh, Muay Thai tutorial. Today we're going to be working on some follow-up elbows. We did one before, it was elbows 1 through 6, we're going to go through elbows 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, these ones are a little bit more advanced, a little bit more tricky. I had a few people ask me after seeing the first video about doing a reverse elbows, that says elbows that hit here. And uh, there's some good ones out there. You don't see them as often, but they're there. You just have to learn how to use them and how to work them. So, for the first one we're going to do is the step in one. My partner's going to hold their hands here. So I'm going to give them a little touch with their jab kind of thing just to measure my distance. I'm going to step in, I'm going to bend my knees, come down, and from here I'm pushing up. Reverse elbow, so it's up to the, the chin. A lot of people refer to this as like the Anderson Silva elbow. He knocked out Tony Freakland with this one. He just walked right in, tap, and reverse elbowed him in the jaw, knocked him out. Silva asserted his role dominance here as champion. Oh, oh, and elbow, elbow. Uh, elbow number eight is the same thing on the other side. So I can start here, come down, bend my knees, same thing. So I'm using my legs and my hips as well as the back of my shoulder. Let's go back to some of this. If I'm here and I just use my arm, that's still going to hurt. But if I drive through with my legs and my hips, you're going to actually have some power on it. So make sure you use your whole body. It doesn't have to be a giant motion. You definitely want to use your legs to initiate the movement. From 7, we can go to 9. So I'm going to go from 7 again here. Boom. Now I'm here, what I'm going to do is take my shoulders, go toward the ground so my upper body is parallel with the ground. I'm going to come up and around with this elbow here. My partner's holding here like they would for like elbow 1 and elbow 2. So from seven to nine, here, looking down and coming around here. Make sure when you practice your elbows with your partners, you're always looking first before you throw the elbows, especially spinning elbows, because if they make a mistake and you don't have their hand in the right place, you're gonna crack them in the face, and that's not a fun way to train. Also, when you're throwing your elbows, you're pretty close, so make sure you keep your other hand up nice and high. You shouldn't be dropping your hand for the elbows. The knees are right here, there's a bunch of things that can go on. Keep yourself protected when you're in really close. Okay, so seven to nine, touch. Boom, boom. On the other side, same thing. I'm gonna throw my cross, step in, bend the knees, elbow, rotate through from here. So that's a fun drill you can do just to kind of get the flow of different elbows and doing different spin and reverse elbows. So one more time, seven to nine, reset, eight to 10. You can also use these elbows in, you know, that's a drill you can do, but in real life applications off of a kick. So the first one we're gonna do is my partner's throwing a right kick, I'm gonna catch it from here. My right arm's gonna go to the back of her leg, so I'm gonna come all the way over, and as I do that, I'm gonna let go with my left arm from here. Okay, come to step and catch. Right arm goes over top, I let go, and my left elbow's here. So if they're throwing that kick and their uh, uh, left hand comes down, it's a good time to catch with an elbow. So again, we go here. Step and catch, right arm goes over as I let go, and there's my left elbow right there. On the other side, I'm going to be doing elbow nine here off of a kick. So she throws the kick, this time I'm going to do a cross catch. So I'm blocking with my right side of my body, my left hand going to come underneath, underneath to catch that leg. From here, I'm going to step in, I'm going to try and get my left shoulder up towards her thigh so I'm close enough for the elbow. My partner's going to hold her arm vertical across like that, the other side of this. So I'm here, I'm going to step in, look down, and elbow from there. So make sure you have that up right away again. The kick comes, walk and catch, step in, and elbow. You can let go of the leg if you want, so you can do please. Or you can hold on to it the whole time. So that's uh, elbow 7, 8, 9, 10, a couple of drills you can do with them. We'll add on one more here that's kind of fun. I'm just going to surprise Sandy with this. So, <laughs> so elbow 1, this is a little elbow combination we can use, good. Elbow four, good. Now she's gonna do elbow three, good. And as she does it, she's gonna bend her knees and go right to elbow seven. So three, and then seven, and then back to nine, good. So this is what we do when we just kind of practice our elbows in our advanced class, just flowing through different positions with them. So again, one, three, four, seven, good. And those are advanced elbows, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you hit subscribe so you get all the new videos when they come out. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually get notified when they come out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.